Hi, welcome everybody, Jason Bartle, Life Therapeutic Massage. Today we're going to focus in on the lat muscle, quite an important muscle. It, it actually looks like a natural wing on the body, especially if you were to look at somebody like a bodybuilder. They would have a quite a defined region on this aspect of their rib cage coming down into their lower back. Okay, so it's under here and down. That's the latissimus dorsi, we nickname it the lats for simple reason of making it a shorter name. And it covers three important areas. It actually attaches on the front of your humerus, so that's this long bone in your arm. It attaches at the front around here, very near to where your pectoral muscle comes across your chest, it attaches a very similar region here. So one of its uh, movement patterns is to actually help with this pattern, what we call medial rotation. So think of doing a fly in the gym and a push-up in the gym. When you stimulate this muscle here, you actually get your lats working a little bit too. It also helps with adduction, bringing the shoulder, uh, I'm sorry, the arm back down into the shoulder and into the rib cage, closer to the body. So as it attaches onto your arm, it then wraps under the shoulder and attaches onto part of your shoulder blade, part of the fascia of the ribs, fascia of the lower back and attaches then into this region in your lower back. So it can stimulate pain in your arm, shoulder, potentially your neck, definitely through the shoulder girdle, rib cage, lower back and pelvis. And when you start to get pain and dysfunction in those regions, you can start to then get symptoms in your hands, your feet, uh, cranial issues such as migraines and headaches as well. What I typically see clinically though, is the lats get so tight, and especially in males, because we so dominate with our lats and our pecs and our abs, that we tend to be quite winged, our shoulders come forward, and these lats get very short and contracted. So the lats then, when they're short and contracted, they bring the shoulders forward. So it's this type of posture. Okay, the lats. Somebody in the gym, you might see them, and they look like that, you know they've got tight lats. The other aspect as well, coming to the pelvis that we looked at last video, is that it rocks the pelvis forward. It actually pulls the pelvis up on the back side and tips it forward. So it does this motion. Now you can evaluate this at home. Let me put my friend down here for a moment. You can evaluate this at home by standing up against the wall. Have a friend or a colleague or a mirror opposite uh, so you can see what happens in your lower back. Now, I stand here and just demonstrate it for the purpose for the video today. I'm going to raise my arms. So if you do this against the wall, you raise your arms both at the same time. And if you start to get this happening, it usually indicates that your lats are too tight, especially where they attach into your hip. So when you raise the arms up, the hip should stay relatively still. Okay, it means the lats then are keeping it stable. You should have some extension back that should be there. If you're only getting here, that means again that the lats are tight, but they're tight up in the shoulder region. So one way to start to work on that beyond just massage care is standing up against the wall and using this as an exercise where you stand with everything in contact. And from there you raise the arms up overhead, then you try and turn the palms and flatten them up against the wall without bending your elbows. Your elbows are going to want to do that, your back's going to want to do get that, and your hands are going to try and do everything they can to cheat on this one. So try and flatten your palms and try and also keep uh, a neutral position in your lower back. So a neutral position would look like at rest. Uh, moving away from neutral, it would go into more of this overextension in the back. Okay, I want to make it short and sweet. So that's the lats for today. If you want more information about the latissimus dorsi muscle, go and have a look on Wikipedia and put in lats or latissimus dorsi and have a look at the shape and the, the coverage of this area. Now I just illustrated on the dummy there, the, the skeleton, that it's just the right side, but you've got lats on both sides of the body. So you can obviously appreciate if that's happening on both sides, it's going to throw your posture off. Okay, next time join me, we're going to start to look at lower abdominals and how that can help to counterbalance what's going on with the lats. In the meantime, check out my e-newsletter. You can sign up through www.lifemassage.ca and also please send this on to your friends. Okay, we want to spread the word about muscle health. Take care in the meantime.